So bringing us full circle here to acts of kindness, day five, acts of kindness. Um, so like we started off with positive mindset, usefulness, um, being part of something bigger than, than us, those are all crucial elements to how we're understanding, understanding positive mindset. So this one really uh, quite simple, quite straightforward, um, but again, brings us full circle to engaging um, in our life in such a way that recognizes our choice, our agency, uh, our intention, and our ability to support, encourage, uh, engage, put a smile on someone's face. Now, uh, sometimes folks think of this one as something grand or like some amazing thing they have to plot and plan. Most folks I've found have a lot of enjoyment and a lot of success in this activity when they're just looking for an opportunity. Because I think part of the secret is you see what you look for. And so if you're looking for ways to serve people, uh, looking for ways to, you know, brighten someone's day, make someone's day, encourage someone, uh, take note of someone that, you know, maybe looks like they're a little bit lonely or, or haven't got a good pat on the back or a hug in quite some time. Um, you start seeing it many more places. And that's a, quite a positive, especially how we're framing positive mindset here, looking for ways to um, engage other people is an essential aspect of positive mindset. So acts of kindness establish, establishes uh, us, ourselves, um, and encourages us to act in a way that engenders and reinforces your significance within your community. You matter and what you do affects people. This is a way to really engage that. Also, there's a neuroscience aspect to this, that doing good things is a huge dopamine hit. Um, we're wired that way. We're wired to connect with people. We're wired to support. We're wired to uh, recognize, encourage, um, lift up the people in our community, in our tribe. And so it's a little wonder that we have such a positive response to it. So what are you going to do today?